Now, as we are done with the process transaction states, process XAML, let's go to the final block. Here, let's enable this by clicking on Control E, and there is an error over here. Let's open this, and to our surprise, we will find that here the transaction item is Q item. So it should be string and go back to main just click on import and here try to pass the transaction item that we have with us so I have clicked somewhere okay here it's transaction item okay save this now so as we already know that in our transaction item we have input files hasta for the first time the second iteration we will have input files comma zack and so on okay so first time because we were just implementing the flow for this so this time this will go inside this so we are into this let's close this okay so we are into this now and as we can see there are some errors that are appearing over here so because we are not dealing with orchestrator you can remove this part go back to the other sequences also and remove this here also you can remove it done so now there are no more validation errors so because if the flow is successful this in business exception will be nothing and this will be nothing so this will go into this and here you will try to add few logs like this that you will be able to see the log files that will be available to us for that particular day today it's 8th March so you will find the execution logs here for better visibility you can try opening it in with the notepad so that you'll be able to see the timestamps along with it okay cool so here you're logging that it was successful then you're trying to remove the transaction logs with that, we'll move in, moving on to this, and this time the transaction number which was one earlier, it will become two, so that we'll be able to pass to this particular folder and process this. So this time the transaction item will be this particular value. Okay. So once that is done, what we will do is, if it's successful then we will try to do something else we will try to move the folders from this particular input files to this success files to do that in UI path we can use an activity called invoke method just drag it and here if I just go back to Google and search move folder using C sharp it is showing me some suggestions so I have to be using this particular namespace which is system.io where I have to use directory.mo which will take two inputs both are strings the one is which to move which folder to move and where to move go back to this and select system system dot io dot directory select this namespace and then here function is move it will expect two fields which are strings and right here you have to pass this folder name if I just go into this and click 
it is the current directory path plus input files right not this exactly this is the one that we were talking about it is this path okay plus this path which is nothing but the, which is nothing but to us current directory directory plus in transaction item right because in transaction item we have this path right now if that is concatenated with the current directory it will give this path to us go back to this and here path dot combine and pass those two values environment dot current directory comma in transaction item so this will give out this particular path to us okay, this is the file that we want to move and then here we have to pass to where we want to move it we want to move it to path dot combine here environment dot current directory and then we want to pass it to this file right so this is something that I can take into the configuration path or the configuration file go into it go to the configuration file enter success folder path copy this text go back to this and because we have the in config file available here just enter in config of the word which will give us that text comma so in this particular folder whatever we have right here and this folder just move that particular file a folder right so we have to give the name of that particular folder but if we just take transaction item transaction item will contain this whole path but we have to take only this from that particular value for that what you can do is just go here and click in transaction item dot split split with what split with forward slash forward slash because it expects a character is showing us an exception just you see over here and then still because this will give out this particular thing over here will give out a array of strings we have to take the second part from that which is one okay so there is an error saying can't convert from object to string see was the error over here okay here we have to use to string fine so this will try to move the file to that particular folder and then coming back if it's a business exception it will try to close the applications that we are using or anything else that we have to do that to close all the applications that we are actually using drag the kill process over here which will be available under framework kill process and in kill process open that and use kill activity 
which is kill process and to this we have to pass the process name of Internet Explorer it's I explore this will close all the instances of Internet Explorer available this is the name that you can get from taskbar so all these details you'll be able to find from here because if you want to close the Chrome you can enter Chrome and for its for IE Explorer it's I explore okay so that's it's there right now and if it's a system exception it will go right here and it will try to go through this mechanism that we have for the retry if I just open the configuration file the retries for us is zero here just enter two and close that as we know here the condition is the max retry that is coming from the configuration file is greater than zero it will go to the right else it will go to the left and increment the transaction because it's true for us we will come over here and because the retry number the retry number starts with zero and here we have two the value of this particular thing will result to two so zero is not greater than or equal to this so it will go to the left side to the false and it will try to increment the retry scope okay else it will come here you can just take this off this particular flow that whatever you have right here because we are not trying to use orchestrator here okay it will just increment the retry number so this retry number will go back to this particular main and it will retry for the second time and if the max retry is reached it will come here it will just log it and increment the transaction so we move on to the next one once that is done let's go back to the transaction and it will take the screenshot of that particular screen it will try to close all the applications if it is unable to do it it will close them so just drag kill processes over here and it will kill all those processes so in this we know that we have internet explorer that we are using for this particular process with that understanding let's move ahead and run it once.